as an accounting or bookkeeping practice, it becomes so much important that we see some important numbers for all the clients in one area. Now, lots of different systems can help us with that. Um, we've got add-ons like Next Precision, Expert, um, that can do that. But today I want to talk again about SIFT Analytics because isn't it amazing if we can have the same tool for our reporting, our benchmarking, our review, and also having the oversight of all the clients in one area. That would be amazing, isn't it? All righty. So I'm going to share my SIFT Analytics screen now with you all so you can have a look as to what I mean. So I will share part of my screen for the for to maintain the confidentiality of my clients. So on the top left-hand side, there is home reports oversight. If you click on oversight, on the right-hand side, and I'll show you in a minute, you'll be able to see things like your financial score, the total income, profit, prof, uh, profit loss, net margin, cash, lots of other things that you can see for all the clients in one area. So... I'll share uh, here, so I wouldn't share the name of the clients, obviously, but see how I can see the like all the practice clients in one area. So these are my um, options, display options. I can see show. Uh, I can ask it to show last refresh time. I can ask it to show train arrows if I wanted to, and I can add here more columns if I wanted to. I could say I want to have to check the reporting currency. I can add any equation as well. See, for example, I wanted to create a percentage of some sort uh, of cash or something like that. I should be able to add um, that right here. So I could add checkbox. If you were to use this, say, for um, you know the BAS status, for instance, right? So click on um, so. If you go and said, I want a checkbox. I'll just wait for it. The thing is, it will keep adding on the right hand side. So these are already things that I've added before. So you can have variances and things like that. So keep making it um, keep making it bigger so we can actually see everything in one area. Okay, so there's a checkbox here. Now you can use this either you can rename it and say and say call it current bass, current quarterly bass, current monthly bass. You can have different. Um, you can almost have different, sorry, hang on, quarterly bass. You can almost have different checkboxes for each thing. Like you can have another checkbox for uh, monthly bass, right? So you could rename this. So these are just some ideas for right. bass, monthly IS. You can have the same for both. So these are just the ideas where you can see everything for all your clients in one area. And then um, you can get the relevant information for your work. So as our practices grow and we rely more and more on our wonderful team, it does become important that we still have an oversight on all our valuable clients. And um, it's amazing that SIFT Analytics can provide that for us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, we'll keep coming and keep bringing more content for you. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Bye-bye.